when it comes to Disney's involvement was basically do soft reboot. And that's yeah, been confirmed right. by the CEO of Disney is soft reboot. We're not going to take George Lucas's uh, seven, eight, nine, which would have been really trippy. Like we're talking going into the dreaded midichlorians and. Oh, I mean, uh, it would have went that at that point. I would have just walked out of the theater. Oh, I probably. No. I mean, <laughs> who knows? No. Who knows? But anyway, so I, I reevaluated and it's it's not even in my top 10 favorite movies of last year. So it's in my top oh. five disappointed disappointments of the year. Honestly. Come on, man. This is revisionist history. <laughs> like, Isn't that okay, though? Isn't that all no, right? No, it's not. Because you like that movie and you're letting other be other circumstances so, change the fact that you like it. Zero Dark Thirty. There's and a movie saw, that I don't like anymore if, because it's CIA propaganda. If, Watch The Report. That's a great movie. It's it, also got Adam Driver in it. If you saw it again. Isn't that CIA propaganda? Like, if them? you saw it again and was like, yo, that movie was shit, then I would be like, okay, like you saw it again, you well, got I mean, more I context. Under, I can understand seeing a Star Wars movie for the first time and being like, holy shit, that was, you know, y- yeah. you take it at face value as being yeah, like, for well, sure. when was the last Star Wars movie out? And when people watched six and one came out, it was like, you know, there's a new Star Wars movie at all. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, that's so, exactly right. You look at all these things at face value, like taxation, trade federation, and then you get to the highlights, like the pod racing and the Darth Maul fight, and you're just like, well... These things saved the image of the movie when I saw it the first time. Now, mm-hmm. looking back on it, you could still appreciate the lightsaber choreography and the few special effects. But other than that, yeah. I and, wouldn't watch it if you paid me. And, and I even, wouldn't watch two if you oh, dangled God, no. me over a vat of but acid. Even, even if you, you, know. here's the other, one last point. I see is what that, you're saying, but I just feel like at least that's original to the creator. No, no, yeah, it, like, exactly. So, there was nothing oh, like yeah. one before one. Yeah, and, that's I, what and I'm I felt like it really laid the groundwork, albeit in a very campy way but even like when it comes to revenge of the sith and force awakens for example given that if you take the clone wars movie out those are the two consecutive star wars movies one was made by the creator the other one wasn't but the acting was a lot better that was why for a long time i looked at revenge of the sith and thought wow they could have gone places with the acting like the way you see Kylo Ren act in Episode Seven, I wanted to see Anakin act that way. You know, the way yeah. Leia yeah. and Han act about their son, I wanted to see Obi Wan act that way about his best friend, and no, I never got that. That being said, to see it end the way it did, it was kind of just like really. It kind of just undercut. Really, it, yeah. for me, it undercut like all of what you're saying about leaving the movies and feeling like this good feeling of like, yeah, there's a Star Wars movie. Yeah, the first time you see it, obviously, the next time you see it, and the next time you're like, well, but even but yeah. even just seeing yeah. this one for the first time, it was just like, yeah, well, fuck, it's like it's mm-hmm. like the first the first the original first in, trilogy. A, in a while. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, but that what, what did I just spend a hundred dollars over this clerk? Of this over this course of five movies, like right. what did I really invest in? It's, like what did I really get that's new other than you know a princess essentially? Mm-hmm. I mean, and and I the way I see it, and I know the internet's going to come after me for this one, and I promise this will be my last Star Wars point because I know <laughs> we were talking about politics. Uh, we should be thankful we got Last Jedi because that was an original idea. Yes, it kind of reverse engineered the Empire Strikes Back. But at the end of the day, it was still trying to make something that felt fresh, felt new, felt different. And, you know, I know people out there will say, oh, well, some of the mar- the humor was too much like Marvel. And it's like, well, it's 30 years after what you remember. Yeah. We act different than how people acted 30 years ago. So fair point. get over it, you know. And it's it's kind of like there was so many new ideas in that movie that paid off and worked, but then didn't carry on over into this one because there was so much fan backlash towards The Last Jedi that it's kind of like, well, why even make a trilogy in the first place without a through plot line or through idea? Exactly. Palpatine was never supposed exactly. to be in the third film. Never. Until J.J. got on board. Anyway. That was, that so, was kind of a shit show. Right. That they... Joker was the best film of last year, and that's my piece. So that's, that's um, and one. Parasite yeah. cleaned up at the Oscars. Yeah. Did you see Queen and Slim? Not yet. mm that's also a good one. Okay. No, I, don't, I, I don't know how it sacks up versus Joker, but... It doesn't compare. I don't know. <laughs> really? I, I, two <laughs> people were the main characters. The Joker was the main character. So it's mm-hmm. like, are you splitting screen time? Like, eh, yes, you could say he was yes like bipolar. No, but two of them told a better story than that one person. But I'm thinking of like the color of like the the film part of it. Like the music, the cinematography, like all uh, of it that. It was definitely Queen like, of Slim. 
that soundtrack. It was smooth. No, they were they were both really good. They were they both were. really well done. So that's what I'm saying is I just feel like it's in the same category and like mm-hmm. the overall feeling of like gloominess is kind of like similar. But it's also kind of like I don't know. You should see it. Okay. It's, it's worth seeing for sure. I, I didn't. I don't think I really liked it as much as Joker either. But I don't know. Maybe I did. But even I though I didn't hate it as much as Joker, either. since since we're on such a high note, we should probably uh, have a moment of silence and get taps ready for the now long now no longer campaign of uh, one. Yeah, right, Yang, boy. Esquire. It's called Yang Gang Twenty Twenty Eight, boy. Twenty Twenty Four. We are just beginning, sir. But yeah, man, so in case you missed it, my boy Andrew Yang officially dropped from the race as of Tuesday, which honestly, I mean, his campaign's really been on like red alert for like two weeks. He's been like really desperate in his emails talking about, you know, if he didn't crack the top four in Iowa, if he didn't. He was going to withdraw, and then for sure, if he didn't crack the top four in New Hampshire, he said he was going to withdraw. So, ultimately, well, well like, some, sometimes with those emails, sometimes with those emails, like, it's intended to be like, come on, give me money. Like, Beto's campaign did that, Kamala's campaign yeah, did but, that, Bernie but, sometimes does that. Like, yeah, I'm asking for your financial support. Yeah, but <laughs> Andrew, 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 Andrew Yang's are different because, one, he actually writes them, like... It's actually him. Like, it's right. his voice. It's his, like he he attacks uh, unle- it. Unless he gives his Twitter account to what? His wife? Is that what he did for a short period of time? He's like, yeah. oh, I'm now moderating. A, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> but like, so odd, like, but like he he attacked it more of like the influencer kind of route of like, I'm going to tell you like what my day is like. This is what's going on on the campaign trail. I just left here. I going here. Like he I'm, really took an Elon Musk approach. To it was a blog the, type of thing. The like relatability. You know, yeah, which, which was effective, you know. Yeah, and um, so that's why, like, when he was saying that, it wasn't like, a, oh, like I'm, I'm hung, like I, I'm desperate, like just for sake of saying I'm desperate. Like he was really desperate because right. up until that point, the tone was always like, okay, I'm seeing the data, I'm seeing the progress, we're growing, we're at eight percent, we're at eleven mm-hmm. percent, our funding's going. But then once that, like Friday, I would say probably the Friday before. The Tuesday, they set, like, a really high goal for that night. And then the next morning when they missed that goal, the whole tone of the campaign just really kind of shifted from that point. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not really surprised. I I, I Nobody really expected him to get this far. mm, So... eh. That's you did not expect him to get this far. History. That is revisionist history. You did not history. History. expect this far. No, I, I, I predicted it, and I, I never, was accurate. I never once said Andrew Yang is going to win. Your Honor, just nigga lying. Bull. When did Your I say Honor, Andrew Yang was bull? Like, when none like of that said Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang, and you would come in the group chat? Actually, and no, I never said that. I shared, said I shared both the future. I shared He's going to win. I shared both pro and con Andrew Yang right. shit. So you hedged your bet? No, I just actually fucking researched somebody and fucking. Oh, no, I'm not doubting that. No, no one's doubting that you researched him. But, but uh, uh, you uh, were the first person. You're like peanut gallery over here, <laughs> outsider. I haven't voted in three, three actually, elections, I've elections, elections since I was 18. Stupid. So try again. You literally have been on air said you didn't vote on the last election. You you literally went on the get I said right. I voted for him. I voted you literally for him. went on the get right and said you didn't vote. You were like, we got jobs, like we got shit to do in these local elections. Are doing I voted on the local elections. I, didn't I haven't missed an election since eighteen, but now you just missed a local election. Anyways. It should be noted, though. Anyway, I like how he just totally just tried to finesse and put, put the heat on me when literally he said Andrew Yang was going to win from the very beginning. I and never said that. As it went on, he started dialing it back. He, I he never said that. Like, literally, yeah. man. See, he's shaking his head because that's what you did. I never said that. But it's I'm cool not, to make me look like I'm wrong, show me, but show me you're dead fucking wrong. I've never said Bro, he was going to we don't win. have enough iMessages to do that. Like, that's a, that's a lot. That's a Bro, lot. Bro, you of, can go on the Twitter chat. That's a lot. Okay, I'm just not gonna do that. All right, like I still remember. I don't care. I remember. Like, he was never my candidate. Walking so on care. Wilshire Boulevard, like you don't have a candidate. Sending audio messages that are like the length of novels. I'm not voting for a Republican, so it would have to be a Democrat. Well, but not Biden. Fucking pretty much Bernie by default. And even Bernie, I mean, he you know he had a win in New Hampshire and Iowa. It's kind of like, hey, you know what? If 
Also CNN just, and MSNB, MSNBC are going to have problems with that and keep saying, you know, second place winner. That's really important. Third place. That's really important. Eh, Iowa and New Hampshire don't matter. It's kind of like, well, you can't hype this up and then turn it around just because the candidate, won. the candidate that's going to probably mess you up in terms of your taxes won. And it's kind of like, hey, you know what? That's what happens when you live in a classist society the way we do. You're going to get hammered. And guess what? It's your own fault. I think they just realized last year, oh, he's not going away. And now this time around, it's like, oh, shit, he learned from his mistakes. And but he's that's, actually galvanizing a base better than any other candidate. And that's because out of Next. any other candidate, Bernie's base is the one that I think understands the severity of the situation we're in and needing a strong leader more than anyone. Every other campaign has staff members uh, salvaged from other campaigns like you have people from Beto and Kamala's campaign on Warren's same with Mayor Pete okay I'm I, I'm already at November and I already said I never said Andrew Yang was gonna win so yeah, you, you I'm, did I'm kind of start going. tipping off at some point like you lost steam I, I literally never him, said he was gonna win but you when did, you though. first brought his Wh- name when did I say he was gonna win see what I'm saying see when That's I like say asking, something when was I'm the, lying. like, when, like but, when does it rain like it just does or it doesn't, even when it's supposed to. It's just the way it is. I'm glad you're so you're saying this. that just by me supporting him, I was saying he's going to win. No, that's not true at all. What I'm that, saying that is, like is that what you're saying. you said it in person, you said it in the texts. Maybe if you get keep getting farther in our Twitter okay. chat, you'll find it, Let's but see. you were saying it. I, I never said that, but okay. You were pro-Yang from the get-go. I, I was pro-Yang. was until you started saying his name. Yeah, but that's different and than saying like, he's oh, going to win. Same yeah, here. has good points. That's and then different. you kept going further that's and different. further, and then you scaled it back. That's, that's different exactly than, what that's you did. That's different than him saying the like, me saying he's going to win. You can deflect all you want, but that's exactly like, what you did. Like, that's not deflecting. You deflected to me like, oh, well, you're an outsider. I, ain't got sh- I have shit to do with it. That was your yeah, guy, and he lost. And the first thing you did it was does, though, because point you a finger at me. You also predicted that Yang and Kamala were going to make it to the convention. Okay, and guess what? Wrong. They're out. But they weren't my candidates. Pete, clearly he was like on the Yang gang for everybody. Yeah, but the thing, and I said this from the beginning, if you guys actually paid attention to what I was saying. We did, but you I ran think, I think the problem is you guys at some point just turned tuned out to what I was actually saying. No. And you guys were just seeing like links and were like, Oh, he's supporting Andrew Yang, and you weren't actually like hearing what I was saying. The reason why I supported Andrew Yang, and the reason why I supported Andrew Yang, like throughout, we got the was, intervention, Kenny. We got it. We got was there. Just the idea of Andrew Yang, the idea that right. anybody Someone logical can put together a campaign, get out there, knock on some doors, and it was make a very, sure it, it was a streamlined, successful effort. You know, like it, it, to be fair, I mean, I'm, yeah, a great I, grassroots. It, it's a very build yeah, up. Very grassroots buildup, and I think the whole to notion of the whole freedom dividend kind of solidified it, where it was like, you know, oh shit, we're putting money in the in the pockets of people that need it. I mean, I'm not sure if that's what sold you, but it definitely caught my eye. You know? I'm just saying, like, we even went to the rally, and we both laughed about it. Like, yeah. oh, it's oh, not yeah. like it just seemed like such like, a fun, entertaining, just political environment where it's like, you know, you had people on, you know fucking all these social media aggregates reddit especially where it was like just full frontal support of it you know so, and when i saw it on twitter saying that you know he's officially out of the race it was like well shit i think he had a lot of good ideas yeah you know he had a lot of good ideas i don't know how they would have worked personally God damn it. My Twitter Fred refreshed and I'm back at fucking now. <laughs> God a lot of damn guys, it. You, you were know, probably like two I years was like six in months September. Deep. I was like in yeah. September. Ouch. Um, but I think too the... I think we'll just never get to see that potential and that's sad. Unless no. he gets on Bernie's staff. And here's there the... There you go. He's, yeah. But he's, Democrats don't do that because they're stupid. They're like, oh, I beat this Bernie's person not a Democrat. Maybe I should put them on my fucking staff. Bernie's not a Democrat, oh, though. Bernie, doesn't matter. Bernie know. was the first candidate to basically say we, solidarity we both, forever. We know that. We both, we've both we both talked about that. Okay. I know. He and also, literally, he forced his way as a wedge into the Democratic Party because he was an outsider. He knows that third parties don't win shit. Wait, who are you, now who are you talking Bernie or Yang? No, no. Well, no, Bernie. No, no. Oh, okay. Bernie, like Bernie registered as an independent um, right. back in 2016 when... And, his role as a Democrat was, you know, kind of mudsliding. That's when he registered to stand out from the crowd. I mean, he still lost. Yeah. However, 
If he's doing well, that again... But now this time he doesn't have to because the people accept him. Exactly.